Dishes. Did they just bring out dirty dishes in the little kitty's pool? I can see myself in the plate. What the Okay, so it got real nasty real quick. Alrighty. Hey, Wagwan, it's Shanice Rich, and we are going to be reacting to the cheapest family in America. I'm Melanie O'Brien. And I'm Sean O'Brien. And, and we're, we're America's, America's cheapest, cheapest family. family. Making it rain. In the summertime, when the kids are playing outside in the pool, we can utilize that afterwards to, to help clean our dishes. We save money on the water bill. We save money on the electric bill. Are we gonna become millionaires off of it? There's other ways to kind of conserve and save money. Cleaning your dishes in the kids' dirty swimming pool water, I wouldn't even call that cheap. That's just plain nasty. It's summer right now, so the kids have their pool or whatever. If they're not living in a hot state, what are they gonna do in winter? What are they gonna do when it's cold and they don't have the kitty swimming pool? I'm sure these kids didn't shower before entering their swimming pool. You disgust me. Go on. Sean and I agree that if we don't have to buy anything new, then we won't. And we'll make use with what we have. I'm trying to think here. That's our lifestyle, that's our way. What is cheap about cooking bacon? Our pots and pans broke, the handles broke off. Okay, it's about pot and pans. And instead of going out and buying brand new pots and pans, Sean made this wrench that doubles as a handle and the duct yeah. tape protects my hands from burning. All right, kids, bacon's ready. It's not that serious. I am sure that they sell handles, you know, to replace for your pot and pans. I'm sure they sell it cheap, you know? Really? It could easily slip from that wrench. What if when she goes pick up that hot bacon grease and it slips and it burns her finger and now she has to go to the hospital and that's a whole nother expensive bill. Her being cheap may cost her more in the long run. It don't make sense, make it make sense. A sacrifice they claim has saved them over $30,000. Oh, they were able to save $30,000 from all this extraness? This is where we spend most of our time, in the living room. Um, as you can see, we've got very sparse furniture. <laughs> not making fun of people because, you know, not everybody can afford nice things, but they just said that they were able to save $30,000. So they couldn't use a little 500 out of that $30,000 to buy themselves a proper couch for their living room? Um, what? You can probably even get a couch for cheap, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace for like $100. This is just ridiculous at this point. Living room furniture can cost up to $10,000, $20,000, depending on what kind you're buying. Um, ours costs maybe 50 bucks. She just said the couches can cost up to $10,000, $20,000. Like I said, you can get more affordable couches. Ikea couches are not even close to that amount, okay? I think so. Ikea couches cost. Look at that. I am from Canada, so our prices are way more. Look at this. A nice, beautiful, cream-looking color couch. $113. This girl said it was $20,000 to get a, a nice couch. Two months ago, our shower head broke, and Sean came up with a great way to fix it. For the price of a soda bottle, he rigged it up to the shower head and just poked holes in there. And now we have a brand new shower head. The way they're saving their money is ridiculous. I understand they were able to save up 30,000 by doing these ridiculous things, but I just feel like there's just certain things are a necessity when it comes to, you know, your health and just things functioning properly. It, it'll make sense to me. Just buy a damn shower head. <laughs> First of all, I hate when a shower head is not powerful enough, okay? That shower head needs to be hitting me hard. That's a little dirty, but and it needs to be hitting me hard from all angles, you know, slapping my back. I just like when the shower head is just really hard. You guys take your mind out the gutter, you nasty little but you know what I mean. That kind of shower head would not be doing it for me, okay? The little trinkle trinkle coming out is not enough. They, they have me looking up everything. Like, how much is a shower head? 28 bucks, 34 bucks, like, 
Let's go on Amazon. Some people might think our behavior is over the top, I, but... Extreme. I, I am some people. I think your behavior is way over the top. It's what I call it. Extra. I think it all depends on the person's perspective. No! <laughs> no words. <laughs> For the past several years, the O'Briens have contemplated moving into a larger space. So these cheap people want to purchase a bigger home, but to sell their home, I guess for a good price, you know, to make some money back, they need to do a little renovations in their home. They have a ridiculous fence that they think looks like a marble cake, ugly as hell, and it's costing them $1,800 to replace, or they could just repaint it for much cheaper. And they're here contemplating like, mm, uh, uh, I don't really want to spend the money to do that. But then why do you want a big place? That makes no sense. If you're going to be cheap, what do you need a big place for? If anything, you should downgrade. This is our uh, main living room. Hmm. Well, number one, no furniture. You've got to stage this room. Stage how? I just cannot understand for the life of me why these people are wasting this realtor's time. Like, they're too cheap. They're not, they're too cheap to put furniture in their home. You think they're gonna buy furniture to stage the home so they can sell the home for a bigger home? Stop wasting my man's time. They didn't even have a TV or any furniture at all. They don't have a TV, but they're on TV? So how are they gonna watch this episode then? I mean, like how I'm watching it on YouTube, but still, I bet they don't have computers. I bet they don't have Wi-Fi because they're that cheap. I've seen houses online that don't have any furniture. But those are new. Not always. The majority of them are new. How is she gonna argue with a realtor? You hired a professional to help you sell your home. Listen to what the man has to say. None of these homes that are selling has carpet like this. The stains, the burn marks. I, I honestly don't feel like a buyer would even put an offer in with carpet like this. We would love to replace the carpet completely. We don't want to spend a whole lot of money. If they were cheap, it just makes sense. Either downgrade or just stay where they are with what they have. If they're not gonna put furniture in a home, why do you need a bigger home? That just clicked to me. What do you need a bigger home for? If you don't want furniture, I know what it is. They want a bigger area to put a swimming pool inside a blow up swimming pool so they can wash their dishes. Nasty mother. What literally is the cheapest that you could help me out with? I say I just want to do sections. <laughs> uh, you know, no, a, no, no, a burnt no. stain here, or maybe some wax on the floor there type of thing. Are you flipping kidding me? Sections? <laughs> So you're gonna have mixed match carpet and you think that's gonna look better? So he's gonna have a patch of a white carpet here, a patch of a red one there just to cover up burns? It's gonna look worse than the burns, sir. Some red uh, wine there. Yeah. Is it unheard of to patch up carpet? <laughs> I mean... He just said, is it unheard of? Is it unheard of? It really is unheard of. I, I've never heard such thing. I would be looking at them like, what? Get the hell out my store. I definitely don't want it to be horrific, but is there a way to get something like this? Literally that? Yeah. Size and that? Yeah, maybe, I, maybe about 10 would be good. I, sure, uh, that would definitely be a first. The man said literally that size? Like, you're talking about... Literally that? Size only? I, Seriously? They're gonna take samples to patch up their freaking living room oh my god you know what let me not judge it because you know sometimes people can be creative and what i've seen so far these people are so damn creative with things they do to save money it might look cute it might look cute i wonder if they're gonna show us hey. Hey. with the help of their neighbor they're hoping to stage the area for free no, they are not going to borrow the neighbor's furniture. Like, what? <laughs> what? This is ridiculous now. This is complete, like, this is embarrassing. I'm embarrassed. You've got such great furniture. We'd just really love to use yours, if you don't mind. Jesus Christ, these people are too much. Okay, like, what are you thinking? Um, yeah, I was thinking the couch, the nice coffee table. 
she so wants to say no, but like it's so awkward. She's on television and she has her neighbors come and ask her to borrow her furniture. I'm sure if there was no cameras, still she'd be like, hell no. I bet she would even open her door to these people because like they, they're some weird mother You got it? No, no more to your left. Got it? Rather than hire professionals to replace their entire carpet, Sean tacks down their $2 samples himself. All right. Oh my God, they're gonna screw up this carpet. You know, I'm excited to see the outcome of this living room, okay? Let's keep watching. Honey! Well, it looks pretty like much even, but the carpet is totally different color. It's I mean, you did, a great, like... you did a great job, but it just doesn't match. Right. We knew it wasn't gonna 100% match. We are so house. excited now that we made these changes and we cannot wait for people to come in and see our house. Honey, is this straight? What kind of painting is that? Don't tell me they created their own painting. Honey, take that down. It looks like your two-year-old did it. Not even a two-year-old could do better. To avoid the realtor fees, Sean and Melanie placed an ad online and are attempting to host the open house themselves. <laughs> So they don't even have the realtor to come back to check if everything, you know, is okay to sell their home. They basically take it upon themselves to sell their own home. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. People who are different are always going to be called weird because I do it in a different way than somebody else. I wouldn't necessarily, like, just call this being different. It's weird because you're being extreme, extra, and it's just freaking weird, like, it's not necessary. You guys are not broke. I would get it if you were struggling and this is what you need to do. You guys are choosing this lifestyle and that is why it's weird. You're gonna do this every time you go to the bathroom? <laughs> this would be me going to view their house. I would be having a field day laughing my head off. I would not be taking this viewing seriously. It would just be comedy for me. There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna look at it and say, I like it. Nice Thanks to meet you guys. Job. Have a great night. You appreciate it, but we're gonna keep looking. I feel for them. No, not really. But the man said that he knows that there's gonna be somebody that's gonna love and buy their home. I'm sorry, buddy, to disappoint you, but I highly doubt that. <laughs>